This is a stick up. Give me all your money. Remember, kids, mugging people and bullying people is wrong. Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. And Cobra Commander, go get a life. Yo, what's up, YouTube world? I animate them, I review them. Now it's time for another new Eric Tron review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Retaliation Wave 3.5 Cobra Commander. And I know it's been a while since I've done a G.I. Joe review, but now I took this time and opportunity to review a G.I. Joe, that being Cobra Commander. And I must say, this is a very well done figure. This really does look like Cobra Commander. Just like how he should in the Real American Hero cartoon. Pretty awesome. First off, uh, I love the detailing. As you can see, it has pretty nice detailing. He has that Cobra organization symbol on his left side of his chest. The uh, utility belt. He has a knife in the pocket, but um, the pocket is actually for a gun. But I mean, there's a but for some reason they put a little place where you can put a knife in there. But uh, oh well, no biggie. Here's a little knife. Not much, just a little dagger. <clears throat> and he comes with the little, the iconic Cobra pistol that he comes with, which is pretty cool. And he has this awesome looking chrome face. I mean, it's just awesome. You, you can see me in the camera just right there. Hi. Yep. And his helmet can come off, so he can be like completely chrome dome. But I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna put the helmet on there. He has the gloves and stuff, just like in the cartoon. Yeah, that's all for his detailing. He has a hole in the back, like every other GI Joe, so you can put a backpack on him. Oh yeah, and speaking of backpack, he comes with a little heli pack, but um. Unfortunately, Yuki got to it and he started chewing up on the blades and thought it was a little chew toy. It's not his toy, it's my toy. But uh, you can put the little heli pack on Cobra Commander, which I think is just pointless considering that he really never uses in the cartoon, so I chose to give this heli pack to my little Erectron figure. You just put the straps around him, and then you just peg this right into his back if I can. Just like so. And there he is, wearing his little helipack, so he can be like, Cobra Retreat! But, um, <clears throat> the downside is, is that, like, his blades, it doesn't spin very freely as you would think it would. Like, you just press this button right here. And that's basically all you get. It doesn't freely spin. It just rotates as you just press the button. I mean, if you spin it fast enough, I guess it's kind of making it better. No, not really. But yeah, enough, this is just an, a pointless accessory. Oh yeah, and the heli pack also comes with this um, these biochemicals, as you can see right there. Has a little cobra biohazard symbol, although you can't really see it. I'm putting some light on it right now, and you still can't see it. Oh well. Aside from that, let's get on with the figure itself. Remove its little heli pack. If I can take it off, there we go. And here's his display stand. Oops. It's um, not much. It doesn't have the Cobra Commander name on it. It's just a little <coughs> dog tag. And it's, uh, it says it's made in China, 2009 Hasbro, right there. Yep. And it's got one peg on there, which is pretty unfortunate. I really like my display stands 
just have two pegs so it can stand up perfectly. Although this, the downside of Cobra Commander is that his legs are kind of loose. Came like It came like that right out of the packaging when I got it. Unfortunately, I don't have the packaging, so I can't show you the packaging. But the packaging is just that your standard G.I. Joe Retaliation card. So, yeah. And then the feet, um, they're pretty stiff. I mean, you can't really rotate them as much or bend them. It has a ankle tilt, like, up and back. But it's really hard to move it. It's so stiff. Alright, so on to the articulation of the figure. You have arms that rotate 360 and it's on a hinge so it can go in and out. And you also have uh, elbow right here and bicep rotation movement. And you have wrist rotation. You have ball jointed legs so you can move this any way you want. But a little bit not all the way to the back. You also have double jointed knees, which is always good for a G.I. Joe figure. And his head is on the ball joint, which is perfectly good for this feature. He comes with a little switchable head, and that's his Cobra Commander hood. He doesn't always wear his his um his mask and helmet, as you can see. In the cartoons, he will wear a hood. Mainly, he will wear this if he's not in like a battle. This is just his battle mask. And he still looks pretty cool. Although, I'm going to be displaying him with his mask. Because that's how I like my Cobra Commanders with their masks on. <sighs> oh, and the, his, uh, his hood fell off and it went right over to the speaker. Alright, so after all that decapitation happened, I got his original head that I liked, his uh, battle mask on, and I'm going to do some size comparisons. Let's see how he scales with some figures. So here is Pursuit of Cobra Duke. He's about at least smaller than, nah, he's one inch tall, one centimeter taller to be exact. About one centimeter. Destro from the 50th anniversary line. Of course, that's not a stand. I just picked Lady J's. He's that that seems a bit accurate. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And here he is with some other Cobra Commanders. Here's movie Cobra Commander from the Rise of Cobra. Here's a Cobra Commander from the sequel. Retaliation. So he's pretty much like taller than the um the uh, Rise of Cobra Cobra Commander, and he's taller than the Retaliation figures. The reason why he's taller than that one because um hit this stand is way bigger than that one. Next up, we have the Dollar General Cobra Commander. He's pretty taller than the Dollar General Cobra Commander. And next up, here we have him <clears throat> right next to me, Eric Tron. He's, yeah, he's taller than me. I can already tell. For some reason, my figure is leaning back. Alright. And if you ever know, want to know how tall is he with a transformer, here here I have him with Starscream. But they look like a good looking pair, <laughs> considering they do have the same voice in the cartoon. And yeah, he's about like he he's a bit smaller than him, although it's not an accurate scale to a giant jet. Alright, so that's it with Cobra Commander. Now, all we have to do is move on to conclusions, and this review is done. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on Cobra Commander? Well, he is a good figure. Props to him. It, it has good detail, like I said before. 
And I think it's a very good figure to be in addition to your G.I. Joe collection. I mean, Cobra Commander is a must-have. I mean, your G.I. Joe collection is not complete without a Cobra Commander. It's pretty cool. Just like in the original cartoon. I almost said G1. I mean, I guess it's kind of G1. I don't know why I don't know why collectors call the G.I. Joe cartoon G1. Most of these Transformers they call it G1. But yeah, it's a cool little figure. That's all I can say about it. I highly recommend them. So with that being said, um like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends, and also if you want to see pictures of this figure and other figures, go to my Eric underscore Tron Instagram page. The link will be in the description below. And also if you want to see full episodes of Transformers, War on Earth, and other videos, the link to the Eric Tron 2 channel will also be in the description below. And peace. We are out of here. Why, hello, Cobra Commander. Well, Starscream, it's nice to meet you. It's good to meet you, too. Say, you have an awesome voice you got there. You got a bad set of pipes yourself, Starscream. Say, you want me to take you for a flight? Why, sure. <laughs>